Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to do the May BoxyCharm review um, and give you some of my thoughts. I have been using some of these products this last week since I've received the May box and I wanted to share my thoughts with you. So I did get, I will say I did get really excited that um, and watch some of the other YouTubers as far as what was in the box because I can't help myself. I ruined my own Christmas, let's put it that way. So in this month's Boxy Charm, it's called Makeup is Art, and really and truthfully it is. Makeup is art, it's fun. Um, I am in my 40s, I'm heading into my mid 40s. Oh, that's coming up too soon. However, um, I still enjoy having a good time with makeup. So I don't, I feel like I'm, um, I'm hopeful that I will continue to enjoy makeup for a very long time. With that being said, let's jump into what's in this boxy charm and let me tell you kind of my thoughts on each of these. So we did get a highlight and contour palette. So when you open it up, well actually it's sleek, um, kind of it's cardboard. It's a highlight and contour palette by IBY Beauty. Because it is thin, you guys know I travel, so I like things that are smaller, lightweight, that I can put in a bag and um, be on the go. The colors in here are, now wait for it, this is earth shattering, highlight one, highlight two, and highlight three, okay? We're, we're out on a limb there with some marketing ideas. Um, same thing with contour. We've got contour one, contour two, and contour three. Um, I have been playing, like I said, I have been playing with these. And so um, I really like the highlight number two for me because I, I do have fair skin. So to be able to pop that up underneath the eye area, kind of like a banana powder, so to speak, um, I do like the colors. Now the contour equally, um, I do enjoy those. So they're uh, very nice to be able to blend. I've actually used kind of a combination of all three and um, really, really have enjoyed these. They're not overly pigmented. So um, you can kind of just sweep those on and highlight and or contour and highlight your face. So really liked those. And the fact again that I can travel with them makes it even better. These retail for $40. So when you look at the BoxyCharm subscription, you're looking around $20 for the whole subscription. You get five items and already it's like getting this palette for half price. Who doesn't like a 50% sale, right? But now let's look at not just a 50% sale on this, you get more items, woo! So let's see what's in the more items. Um, you, We also got a Crown Pro brush. It's a round contour brush. To be honest with you, I have used this for um, foundation. So for me, this is a good foundation size. And oh my gosh, y'all, if you could feel this, feel a vision. Um, this is so soft. And again, because I travel, um, one of the things that I loved about this crown brush is it has a cover and the cover locks in place. So again, if you're traveling, this makes it just absolutely wonderful that I can use this as a foundation brush or you can use it like it's supposed to as a contour brush, but you snap on the lid and boom. You're not worried about um, the inside of your makeup, case, kit, etc., getting all funky with um, foundation. So crown brushes, that's freaking brilliant because I do have these types of brushes and none of them have that snap on lid. So crown, you just made me a believer in your brush. Now that retails for $24.99. So again, you're getting great products um, to try out full size and it's like 20 bucks. Okay, so then we got a brow brush. I will say I've been lazy lately with my brows. I just haven't been much into them, but in an earlier subscription, I believe it was from BoxyCharm, I did get a gel from Brow Gal, and I've been using that, even though I've been lazy with my eyebrows. And the brow gel 
that I got from an earlier subscription, I absolutely love. Well, this little brush um, is from Brow Gal, and I like the fact that this is stiff, but not like I'm gonna, you know, shank you with it. Um, so it's stiff, but it does have a little bit of movement, which actually helps kind of create um, a bit more of hair and you can um, kind of blend. And I freaking love this brush. I don't know where it's been all my life, but I'm glad I have it now. And then at the end is a spoolie, so you can kind of shape your eyebrows if you don't like the um, using the gel. You can just use a little spoolie and shape your brows. Love, love, love this. So that's my new favoriteest brush in the whole wide world. Well, so was that other one. Um, and this is retails for $14 and you can find that on thebrowgal.com. Okay, speaking of brows, holy crud. I've not had this experience before. So the brow gal actually included um, some of the convertible brow number two. It's for brown hair. Again, that you can find this on thebrowgal.com and this retails for $35. Now, what I like about this is that up till now, I've not found a um, powder brow that I really like and enjoy. In fact, um, I tried several from some other brands and they're kind of just pushed off to the side. I never threw them away because I thought, well, maybe I can find, maybe I'm using it wrong. Maybe I'm just having a bad powder eyebrow day. So I put them off to the side and then I went to the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow. Well, once I went there, I kind of never went back. So again, I've been kind of lazy with my brows and um, up until now. So using these two little bits have brought me back into the brow world. So today um, what I use to kind of fill in and shape my brows is actually this darker color. Um, I wanted to try that today. Earlier this week, I did kind of a little bit of a combo, which I liked. Um, but today using the darker brown, I think I like that color for my hair and skin um, right now. But these colors are amazing. So if you have brown hair, there's not one in here that you're not going to be able to use. And the brow gal made me a believer in powder eyebrows. Um, again, I've never found one that I liked and this one I freaking love. The other thing that I like about this is that it sets really nice and it doesn't shift throughout the day. Um, my eyebrows stay in its spot that I put them in. I don't know, brow gal, you've made me a believer and I'm picky. So um, thank you so much for that. Now. The last bit was the Liquid Glow by Temp2. This retails for $29.50. And um, I felt really bad for one of the other YouTube ladies because I was listening to her say that um, hers got kind of stopped up and she was squeezing and this little thing came off and she lost half of her product. So she was kind of bummed about that. So, you know, I kept that in the back of my mind when I was using this. So with me, I put, I had this kind of upside down as I was squeezing it and um, mine stopped up also. So I thought, okay, don't squeeze too hard because you know, this other YouTube lady said that that lid will pop off and then there goes half your product. So I turned it right side up. I popped that lid off to see what was clogging it. There's a ball bearing. So the ball bearing actually is brilliant because as you shake it, that ball bearing helps mix up your product so that it comes on and looks great. But the problem is, I don't know, let me read in here. They never mention in on the card that there's a ball bearing. Beware that your product could stop up. And so um, just making that little bit for you um, aware that that could happen. So basically you just kind of want to turn it a little bit on its side and then um, you can basically put on the product. So for me the other day when I was trying this, um, I was impressed that it did not, how do I want to say this? 
Sometimes with liquid products, when you go to put them over the top of your foundation, or if you put powder on, it will kind of separate and look muddy. I've not had that problem with this. Um, it just, by tapping it on the skin, um, it goes on and it doesn't make your foundation or powder separate and look cakey. So I've had good luck with this this week. The other thing that I was thinking about um, with aging skin that I've got, um, don't judge, don't judge, it happens to everyone, um, is that some of the matte, I like a, a matte finish on my face, but sometimes I've noticed with matte foundations, they kind of make your skin look a little lackluster. So that's another reason why I do like the highlighters, but a couple drops of this in a severely matte foundation would actually add just a little bit of glow to your skin, nothing like over the top. So again, I did like this Temp 2, but just beware, it's got a bare ball, ball bearing bit in there that will stop the tube. Um, so once again, I'm happy with my BoxyCharm subscription. Um, again, one product is always, just one product typically is well over the price of what you pay for this subscription, and you still get four other products in there. So for me, this is the best buy of a subscription. Um, it's probably my absolute favorite, even though I do subscribe to other um, beauty subscriptions. This is my heart, this is my number one, and um, even if I've been disappointed with one or two products in there in the past, um, they still have such a plethora of products that are great to try that you still well get your money worth. And to be honest, I don't know, off the top of my head, I don't know anything that I've been severely depressed with now that I think about that. Hmm. So anyways, um, I'm just a boxy charm believer, what can I say? So if you did like this video and review, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing or refer me to a friend. And as always, you have a choice, so make it a beautiful day. Until next time.